AMD acquires a company that, it's funny, I want to call it Node.ai, but it's not. I did the AI. same thing. I literally was talking, I was calling it Node for like 30 minutes talking to a journalist about it. I'm like, it's not Nod. And they're like, I think it's Nod. I'm like, oh. I know, I kind of, you know, I affiliate nodding with nodding off or sleeping or something. Yeah, like that. I guess we'll give a nod to what AMD is doing there. today. Dan, you know, you, you get one a day, okay? Yeah. By the way, you can't spell AI without not AI. Uh, oh, that's not, not as good. good. That's not as good as Aviator. Sure. All right. No. So, look, there are lots of startups, and you're seeing AMD is taking a, a build-by partner approach to growing its, its AI capabilities. Last week, we saw some very interesting uh, announcements with Lamini. Um, this week... It was not AI, not a, it was, <laughs> they're not a household name. <laughs> I had not heard much about them before, but having Wait said that. Is there a possibility this is not AI? It's, we're not it's, even saying it, we're not even saying this correctly? It's not. <laughs> There's <Okay>. no way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, look, um, there's kind of a few different schools of thought about building the future of generative and AI capabilities. One is closed architectures, one is open source. Um, we know that in the NVIDIA world, it's built a huge uh, vacuum and vortex of growth around CUDA and around the ability for uh, you, know, you to really build your AI future on its software and not moving away from it. Um, for uh, AMD with Rockham, with its whole approach, uh, it's... It's the un x86 of the future, which is going to be all about, you know, open source. So I think the company is continuing to make investments here and wants to show through both partnerships and building. And then, of course, uh, it's its strategy that it's, you know, wants to have a more complete offering. Um, it wants to be able to compete. You know, we've seen that it takes some time. And, and so th I think that's what you really got here. You know, this is an augmentation of their capabilities. It's a company that has made, you know, their shark is their sort of well-known platform. It's, um, it's all open source. They are all about optimization of model and they've not only been optimizing for AMD, but they've been optimizing historically for others like including Intel. Um, this is a company that kind of went from hardware and actually over time um, grew into this particular space of software optimization. As far as I see it, Pat, there's kind of this whole continuum for companies like AMD where it's, first, you're gonna make the hardware so you know what they're doing with MI and their series. Second of all, you have to make software. Well, there's a lot of open source AI software. You know, we, we hear like companies like Meta is very focused on open source. That's why they've been all about PyTorch and, you know, in building uh, their future and Palm and, and La, or that's Google Llama. But, um, what AMD needs to do is make sure that LLMs and these different foundational models run better on AMD than on anything else. And so this kind of acquisition is about how do you basically optimize the software for the hardware so that people that choose to build an AMD, choose to build on AMD's open source platform also get the best experience. So to me, it's a nice tuck in. This is not something that, you know, it wasn't on a size deal, I don't even think a number was 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 mentioned in terms of how big it was. I think it was a, 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 a gathering of IP, of highly capable professionals. And then, of course, a story that says AMD is committed to building software that runs better on its hardware than any other hardware in the marketplace. And it's an important move, um, but time will still tell if AMD can, can garner market share uh, from NVIDIA which is something I think we'd all like to see because we all want to see competition. Yeah, I see this as an aqua hire, right? Um, I still want to aqua hire you. Yeah, you can. Just takes a Birkin <laughs> bag full of money um, on my front porch. But anyways, um, this, this, judging by the picture that Lisa Sue took, now, I know maybe all the employees weren't there, but yeah, this looks like an aqua hire, some really smart people. And it's very focused, right? There's essentially three different ways to do uh, AI, uh, machine learning. Uh, one of them is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, uh, and then 
uh, there is what nod.ai does, which is reinforcement learning. And what reinforcement learning is, is it's an AI where you don't have to give it perfect data. It essentially learns on its own from, uh, you don't have to do special tagging and stuff like that. And my guess is, is that AMD wants to build out certain libraries for certain types of, of AI. And, and here we go. And, you know, this is just yet another uh, affirmation that uh, AMD is, is getting serious about AI for the uh, uh, data center.